Okay, welcome to the second part uh, of this video. So we're solving quadratic equations by factorising. And we're going to concentrate on question 4 and question 5 because they're slightly different set up from the original ones. These first three, we uh, factorised them using a grid method or just put them into double brackets and then solved it. This we can use a similar method but it's not quite so easy to use the grid. That's You should spot something special about 4x squared and 25. And there's a little acronym that uh, I know Ms. Grewer uh, likes, and I quite like it as well, um, but it's called DOTS. I'm not going to remember to put my DOTS in because it's an acronym. And that means the difference of two squares. Difference of two squares. So we notice that this is an x squared and 4 is a square number, and this is a 25. And the word difference means that there's a subtract here and it has to only work with a subtract. In this case you should spot and you should be really quick at spotting these that, that you can just add 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5 and it always follows this pattern. Always, always, always follows this pattern. And you can see that if I get the 2x by the 2x it gives me the 4x squared, the 5 by the minus 5 gives me a minus 25 that's why it only works with the minus. And then also, if you add the 10x from these two terms and the minus 10x from these two terms, they cancel each other out. That's why we've got no linear term here. We've only got a quadratic term and we've only got a, a, a constant term, a number term. I don't know why this uh, little box is up here, so please just ignore that. And I don't know why it's come out of the Holyfield Shield either. shouldn't be there. Oh, now we've got into double brackets quite simply without even a grid. Oh, it's gone now. How exciting. We can say that 2x plus 5 is 0, or 2x minus 5 is 0. So straight ahead, we can take away 5 divided by 2. We can say that x is minus 5 over 2, or add 5 divided by 2, so plus or minus 5 over 2. Okay, and there are my two solutions. So it's actually quite straightforward, but you have to spot, and it only works when it's a difference of two squares. It's a subtract, and both things are squares. Question 5 is a little bit more algebra involved, but they've kind of grouped it up nicely for you. And you don't have to have it this way, but you can kind of, you should be able to spot. Let's write it out. x squared minus 3x minus xy plus 3y is equal to 0. So you should spot that if you just look at these first two terms here, they have a common factor. And if you look at these second two terms, they have a common factor. Now there are other ways of doing it. You can see that this term this term have a common factor of 3. All the three of these have a common factor of x. But this splitting up into two separate sections. So let's factor this first one. Let's take out the common factor of x. And I get x minus 3. And then, if I try and make... Well, let's think... What's the common factor here? It's y. So minus y, x minus 3. Now I've got to be particularly careful with my negative signs here. And I've purposely written it like this so you can see that actually both these brackets are now the same. And that's what we're trying to do with this kind of question where it's split up like this. We're trying to factorise two terms so they have the same common bracket. So I said minus y, so then the minus y times the minus 3 gives me plus. Now, once we've done that, we can take out. We can look at the common factor of these two terms now, and the common factor of these two terms is x minus three, and then the other terms we get x and minus y. So we've actually factorised this into two brackets, but we kind of went through an intermediate step where we split it up into two little sections, found some common factors, and then factorised a second time. Same thing works. So solving these quadratic equations. So from this one x minus 3 is 0, or x minus y is equal to 0. So this gives us this gives us x equals 3, or the other option is when x is the same as y. Okay, So we can solve that equal to 0, and then there are two solutions. And there we are, we're done. So go back and look at the part 1 video if you need to for the 
uh, standard way of factorizing and solving, and then there's slightly two special cases. The question four was a difference of two squares, and question five was that uh, kind of like staggered factorization method, kind of like factorizing in two steps to get into double brackets. Okay?